Hi, Steve here with Wildlife Solutions. And I want to point out some things that we found on this job site today. These are some sure clues uh, and, and some of the, the sign that we see when a home has got problems with uh, either rats or squirrels, or sometimes both, getting inside. But I want to show you some of the damage that we find. One of the things are uh, these vent pipes that are up on roofs. A lot of times they'll have this formed lead boot that covers the pipe and ensures that water does not drain down along the outside edge of the pipe and get into the attic. Well, what happens is this soft lead is really easy to chew on and it has, I guess for the animals, kind of a sweet taste to it. And so what they'll do is they'll come and they'll chew and gnaw on these edges. Sometimes we find the entire top of it completely eaten off. But if you look here, you can see that chewing. And what happens is they make these holes here and they expose this. It allows for water to get in between that lead boot and the pipe and allows the water to run down into the attic and can create water leak, water damage, soiled insulation. People will start seeing water drips coming through their drywall ceiling. Uh, but this is very, very common when you have any kind of population of squirrels and rodents. Sometimes rodents especially will actually go down into this pipe, chew through from the inside out and get into the attic or inside a wall. One other thing I want to show you here, just right behind me, come over here, is another spot where on this particular home where the animals are accessing and this is the end of this ridge cap right here. If you look at this spot, you've got this perfect little, what we're going to call uh, Mickey Mouse hole right here. But basically what this, what this uh, aluminum uh, ridge cap has is a rubber vent or a rubber cap right on the end, which is what this black piece is. And they use that to plug the end of that ridge vent and animals will come up, park themselves right at the, right at the edge, and they will chew a nice hole right through the end of that, uh, that rubber cap. And that allows them to get under this vent and drop straight down into the attic. Because under this vent is a nice gap that allows the attic to that allows the heat to escape out of the attic. So this hole right here is a sure clue that rats are coming off the roof, getting in through this vent, dropping into the attic. So we've seen a couple of uh, instances of roof damage that rats and squirrels will cause, and that ultimately leads to a much greater problem. They end up getting inside, causing more severe damage to the home, and that can get expensive. So if you notice any kind of activity on the house, please give us a call. Make sure and call Wildlife Solutions. We'll save you a lot of money. We'll help you out. We can give you peace of mind.